Okay, so I have only started using um, Eclipse fairly recently, so I can't promise you that this is the official way to uh, use Eclipse to um, import a project that's a Python project, but um, here's what I do that works. So um, I'm going to start by inside of my um, Eclipse workspace, I'm going to make a new space for the project that I'm going to use. So I actually have already cloned, um, I have already cloned the, uh, here look, I've already cloned the pack search uh, folder out of, on Elvis, and I've transferred it to my local machine. Um, and it's just somewhere. It is notably not, see this is my AI in-class Eclipse workspace, and I did not yet put it into my AI Eclipse workspace folder. So if you look, I just have these two files in there, or yeah, these two folders in there right now, plus the metadata folder that I guess is probably from Eclipse. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making a new folder. So I'm gonna do file new, PyDev project. Sorry, I'm going to make a new project. So I do file new PyDev project. And um, I'm actually going to call this, I'm not going to call it pack search. I'm going to call it, you know, I don't know, my local pack search. Just so I can distinguish between the folders. Um, I'll use the default project contents. It's Python. All these I'm just leaving as is. Add project to the Python path. All good. And I'm going to say finish. All right, so now I have this folder, but it's empty, right? And that's not much use to me. But actually, if I look over here at my um, file explorer, now I see that it's given me a new um, folder. And in fact, it's not quite empty. It's got a couple of files for, um, for Eclipse. And by the way, if you don't see these files once you've done it, if you go to the View menu, I have file name extensions and hidden items shown. So that's probably why I see them and you don't. Anyway, so here we go. I've got these, but what I really want to do now is I want to copy the project that I've cloned into here. So I am going to go up to my AI class folder and here's pack search and I am going to select all and I am going to radically cut um, so that I leave it empty so I don't get confused. Uh, and now I'm going to go back into class AI and my in class Eclipse workspace and into my local pack search and I'm going to paste everything. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Um, and now I'm just going to check up on Git. So I actually use something called Sigwin to um, have a bash shell on my on my PC. But let's see, I'm going to cd to my AI class, and I'm going to cd to my AI in-class Eclipse, and there is my local pack search, and I will cd to my local pack search. And I'm just going to do a git status, and for whatever reason, my dot git ignore is different. I'm just going to do a git diff dot git ignore and it, yeah it looks like it's changed the um the mode for some reason who knows why um i will i will fix that when i get back in the other direction but um in fact i don't think i need to fix it but what i'll do is i'm just going to do a git add dot git ignore and a git commit dash m just making sure well git dot git ignore um, file permissions changed during transfer to PC. So there we go, and I do a git status. And look, I am in my local pack search file and git is beautiful and clean. Um, so now what I'm going to do is if I look at my local pack search on um, uh, Eclipse, it still looks empty, but if I right click on it, and that was a right click, and I say refresh, magic, everything is in there. Okay, fantastic. So now I can you know, open up files like um, the Rowan pack DFS tester. There we go, there's the file, and I can run it, um, I'll say, uh, well, I can run it by clicking on run, right? 
just hitting the click run button, right? And say, run it as a Python run. And it does it. Um, but the other thing that I can do, and you can see there's a bunch of other things in here that I meant to clean out, but I didn't. Um, and these are run configurations. Um, and what I can do is I can come up, if I want to put some command lines on these things, like I want to run the Pac-Man. Let's open up Pac-Man. And I'm going to do run. I'm going to click in here, and you can say run as Python run if I want. And that's just going to start the Pac-Man game. Woohoo! Um, but what I really want to do is I want to run Pac-Man with some command line arguments. And so here's what I'm going to do. So the assignment says that I want to run this pacman.py with dash dash layout medium maze, right? So I'm going to copy, come on, copy those command line arguments, and I'm going to click on here. So I'm running. I'm I'm I've have the um, pacman file is is the active file right now, and I'm going to say I'm going to click on run and I'm going to go to run configurations, okay? And I am going to create a new configuration. So I'm going to click on this new launch configuration. And um, there we go. Now you can see the whole thing. Um, and I don't know why it can't get the project for the run. Let me try this again. Let me double click on pacman.py and let me say run. Well, let's run it first. I just did. I ran it as Python run. So let's do run configurations. There we go. Now it worked. So maybe I just had to have it active in here. So I clicked on it in there and um, and it says the project is my local pack search. Just check that. Make sure it's good. The main module is this workspace. It's got all sorts of good Python path, but here's the fun part. Arguments. So I'm going to say arguments and I'm going to hit dash dash layout, media maze, and then I'm going to change this. I'm going to save this as a new um, run configuration. So I'm going to call this one um, Pac-Man with media maze. All right. Um, and everything else looks good. I'm going to say apply. And uh, now if I want, I can say run. And big bang, boom, there is my Pac-Man game with the medium maze. And I can also now, if I want, I can click on run configurations. And it shows me all my different configurations that I have. But I could do the Pac-Man with medium maze. And I could just say run. Oops, you can't see the bottom here. I can say run this one. And it will run this one. Um, if I wanted to, let me go to run configurations. Um, I can go into the arguments and I'll change this to dash dash layout tiny maze, even though the name is medium maze, which is let's just change it to Python with Pac-Man with maze maybe. Um, and I will apply. And good, it changed the name over here. Um, and now I can run this one. And there we go, we get it with the tiny maze. Um, actually, um, let me just show you one more thing now, which is I want to just show you a little bit of debugging. So let's suppose that I am um, uh, running. Um, my Pac-Man code and you guys need to change search agents. That's the first thing you change, right? Or you change search. Now you change search. Um, so we've got our search problem and here we go. We've got depth for search, right? Um, and so I could say add some code to this like print hello. Are you right? Um, and I'm going to stick a uh, a breakpoint in here by right-clicking to the left of the 
line number and saying add breakpoint. Um, and I guess I'm going to have to create a new configuration so that I can run um, with... Uh, oh no, I don't have to, a new configuration because depth for search automatically gets run from the um, Rowan Pack DFS tester anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Rowan Pack DFS tester and I'm going to say, I'm going to go see the little picture of the debug and I'm going to say debug, I'm going to say run at, or debug as Python run. Okay. And when I do this, it's going to ask me, I think, come on, you can do it. And it says this launch is better in the debug perspective. You see all the perspectives up here for Eclipse. And we've got the Java perspective, which isn't going to help us right now. Right now we are in the Python perspective. Um, and I'm going to say, yeah, please remember my decision. Let's switch to the debug perspective. And so now we're in the debug perspective. And we can look at my global variables. We can look at all sorts of stuff. Um, it's already run some stuff. It's printed hello. Uh, and then printed some other stuff. I don't know why it's printed this other stuff, but we're going to ignore that for the moment. It's frozen here at print. How are you? Um, and uh, and so I've got my debug tools up here, right? I can I can step into a function. I can step over. So let's just do the print. How are you? And now it's doing this stuff too. Um, I wonder why it's doing that. What have I done? One, da, 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 da. Am I using my own code? Maybe I'm using a different one, but no, I think this is okay. All right. Um, and uh, so now if I figure out what I want to do, I want to stop the debugging. I can click on stop debugging. I'm left in this debug perspective, right? And I don't want to be in there when I'm working. So I'm just going to click on here and switch back to the dev perspective. And if I wanted to, I can clear that breakpoint. Um, or I can even leave the breakpoint there, but run as just a um, Python run. And then it just does the whole thing. Uh, oh, I didn't want to run this guy, did I? I want to run the, um, oh yeah, no, this is the DFS tester. Um, so let me try, let's double click on that and make sure we're good. And then I'll just hit run as Python run. And there we go. Hurrah, it worked. Okay, hello, how are you? And it gave me these errors. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think that should get you working in uh, Eclipse.